Knowing about computer memory measurement is important in understanding file sizes and storage capacities. Computers function through the use of binary code. The system is based on a series of zeros and ones. Zeros mean off and ones signify on. A single piece of code, like a zero or a one, is called a bit. A combination of 8 bits is called a byte. 1024 bytes of information is called a kilobyte. 1,048,576 bits equal 1 megabyte. 1,073,741,824 1 bits equal 1 gigabyte. 1 trillion 99 billion 511,627,776 bits equal 1 terabyte. Let's put all these numbers in a more physical sense. Assume 1 bit is the size of a 1 inch cube. A byte, therefore, would be a stack of cubes 8 inches in height. Continuing to stack, a kilobyte of cubes would be as tall as a Jing Quan Center in Beijing, China which stands 682 feet in height. One megabyte worth of cubes would reach the space shuttle orbiting 132 miles above Earth's surface. One gigabyte of cubes would stretch more than halfway to the moon. And one terabyte stack of cubes from Earth would pass through the asteroid belt of our solar system. Let's try another way to understand memory. Assume the average length of a digital song is 5 minutes and its file size is 5 megabytes. If you had a digital music player with 256 megabytes of storage, you could store 51 songs or 4 hours and 16 minutes worth of music. A 1 gigabyte music player would allow you to carry nearly 204 songs with a total play length of 17 hours. A 1 terabyte player would be capable of storing 209,715 songs and it would take two years of continuous listening to hear each song once. In review, one bit is a single digit of binary code and when you string eight together you have a byte. 1,024 bytes is called a kilobyte. 1,024 kilobytes equal one megabyte and 1,024 megabytes equal 1 gigabyte. 1,024 gigabytes equal 1 terabyte. Someday, probably sooner than later as technology continues to expand, we'll be able to save 1,024 terabytes on a single drive. This would be called a petabyte.